Hi everybody and welcome to the first video of Matt's Plants. So it's also the first day of UK government lockdown because of coronavirus. Um, so inspired by YouTubers I watch including Roger and Ed's Orchids, uh, I decided to make some videos about the plants I grow, maybe also touch on some other things I'm interested in like hydroponics and British botany. So the first plant is this, it's a orchid. It's a Mastervalia ignea. Ignea from the Latin meaning flame red, I believe. Um, it's a highland orchid, so it grows in the highlands of Colombia and neighboring countries. It's a cool to cold grower. So I grow most of my highland orchids um, in a terrarium, which is kept at a max temperature of 20 degrees-ish. Hot summers it goes a little bit up during the day um, at the moment it gets to about 18 degrees um, and then at night it drops down in the winter to about 9 or 10 uh, and in the summer mm, depending on how hot the weather conditions are it either drops down to about 15 or I have to stick a lot of ice packs and extra humidity in to get it to drop um, humidity is kept more or less constant at about 70 to 90 percent because it's a terrarium uh good airflow so these are potted in my usual mix which is sphagnum moss uh with big pieces of bark although i believe this grows in the wild as a terrestrial orchid um rather than as an epiphyte uh it seems quite happy in that mix and it is it's absolutely one of my favorites i, I think the uh flowers on this are absolutely gorgeous. So this year it's decided to award me with six spikes out and I think one more on the way. So I'll zoom in on that. Yeah. So I don't really, I've never really feed it, uh, fed my orchids, given them any fertilizer. Uh, I have recently started using rain mix from a Belgian orchid supplier. Um, but this has only had, I think, a couple of feeds so far, so it shouldn't have made too much difference to how it grows. And yeah, there you go, absolutely beautiful orchid. Possibly one of my favorites. Uh, absolutely wonderful coloring. I'm not sure how well it's coming across on YouTube, but in reality, absolutely fantastic. Uh, very deep red with even deeper red stripes. I think it comes across a bit orangey on this video. Uh, they do fade the flowers to be a little bit more orange. And the second orchid today is another Mastervalia. It's a Mastervalia over avis. Um, I think the Latin comes from this one to do with eggs because it has these weird shaped flowers, sort of white vaguely egg shaped with these long yellow tails growing in like clusters um, zoom in there you see there's uh, sort of a purple patterning inside so this plant is absolutely huge I've had it I think about three years now and it's it's grown considerably in that time uh, again it's a cool grower I keep mine in the cool end of the terrarium the highland terrarium I grow a lot of these orchids in um, high humidity standard potting mix of sphagnum and bark I think this has got about nine spikes on it uh, at the moment Oops, trying to move that out of the way yeah just a really 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 cool looking plant uh, amazing clusters of flowers you know, I think this is the second year it didn't flower the first year I had it second year it, it's flowered for me um, a lot of nice new growth still uh, coming down another spike that hasn't quite flowered um, that's been bashed against the wall of the terrarium really really interesting weird looking plant
So I can zoom in there a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. That's a plant that's grown incredibly well for me. Uh, again, I've <laughs> no particular secrets. The terrarium uses uh, artificial lights um, on a 12 hour cycle. Uh, and I think that combined with relatively consistent temperatures, particularly this time of year, uh, suits it very nicely indeed. Okay, everybody, that's the first video. Um, if I feel suitably inspired, I'll make some more. I said I'll talk about my plants. I've got a lot of orchids, carnivorous plants. I also grow various other weird and wonderful things. And uh, for the more mundane, I also love African violets. So the next video may be about growing African violets, which oddly I found harder to grow than rare Highland orchids, uh, by and large. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.